right here what we're gonna do is go back hello everybody i'm mrs q and welcome to my youtube channel first of all i like to thank all my subscribers thank you thank you thank you for subscribing to my channel that means you like my videos and if you like my videos and have subscribed yet what are you waiting on click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can get more of me mrs q and my silent co-host cj cj yeah that's him over there all right anyway it's time for the coach takeover it's hard to let it go once you lose control the coach takeover you do what's right for you and i'll do what's right for me okay y'all so <sighs> So I saw this item and one other item on the Coach Outlet web site. And basically what had happened is one of the items sold out. Womp, womp, womp. Hopefully I get it in the future. If not, I'm not going to cry about it because uh, we all can agree I have enough denim items. For real, for real. Okay, so I just went on ahead and settled for one item however when i finally checked out i noticed my total was close to eight you know seven hundred dollars and i was like why is my total so high and i only ordered one item come to find out there was some kind of glitch and i ended up paying for two items instead of one hashtag coach games so i called them and basically, the customer service person told me that um, more than likely what they're going to do is refund me for both items because they can't just send me one item and I would have to reorder the item. I said, okay, so one of the sections that does that wasn't open. The warehouse wasn't open yet, so she couldn't stop the order. So she told me just to order it and then call back in an hour and cancel the order once it hits the system. I said, okay, cool, no problem. So I reordered the item, called back, and then they told me something different. I, I, I don't like when people do that. Some told me just to wait, but since my other item sold out, I was scared this one was gonna sell out. So I went on ahead and followed their advice, but next time that's not what we gonna do. So the lady told me if they accidentally send me two items to call them back and they will send me a uh, free shipping label to send one of the items back. So I am happy to say I have one item. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so... Let me look at my, I'm sorry, y'all. Business first. I got to look at my, um, okay. So it's one item. Okay, cool. All right. So this is one of the items I've been wanting. And we're going to go ahead and send back some packaging. Oh, oh it's been open. Well, anyway, oh, yes! I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Oh, my goodness, I am. Oh, gosh. I'm in love. Okay, so let's go over her right quick. All right. She has no feet, just a smooth leather bottom. She has smooth leather accents throughout the bag. Okay, this is the chambray signature print. Looks like denim. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so she has two turn lock closure pockets in the front. 
Right, right, right. Oh my God, I'm gonna take that off. Okay, substantial. You could put a phone and some other little intricates in there. Hand sanitizer. You know what I'm saying? Now she does have. these accents on them um and me what i like about vaquela leather is that it patinas but what it does it takes time to get it to patina so more than likely i'm gonna go ahead and wet the vaquela accent so they'll go ahead and patina so i ain't even got to worry about that you know what i'm saying there's also a Vaquilla accent on the handle, which to me that which is one of the main reasons why I'm going to wear it because sometimes I grab my backpacks by that. Okay, it has two adjustable. Let's take this off right quick. Oh, okay. We're just gonna take one off for time's sake. Okay, two adjustable shoulder straps. They do have a killer accents on them. Gold hardware. Like I said, we're going to wet that Vaquilla so it'll go ahead and patina because I ain't got time. Okay. Isn't that nice? This is a soft knitting backing. Like I said, the, I know y'all hear all that squeaking. That's the leather, hunty. Yes. Okay. Kind of looks like a belt. All right, and then on this side is your coach hang tag. And yes, that is Vaquilla leather. All right, I might get that monogrammed. Because I never sell my um anything that looks like denim items. Okay, it has a drawstring pull closure for the inside, but it also has this nice flap with a turn lock closure okay so let's get to look on the inside so on the back i don't know if y'all can see that it has a zipper pocket with a leather pull okay i guess that is the um yeah that's the security tag Nice size pocket goes all the way to the bottom of the bag here. Then let's see. The front wall, it has, I know y'all can't see that, but it has two slide pockets and a pin pocket in the middle. So with dark linings, you can't really see. So what I'll do is I'll insert a picture. This is really, really nice. I don't like on stuff in my bags until I'm ready to use them and I'm not ready to use it. So no dust bag. Womp, womp, womp. I'm sure I got an extra one around here somewhere. And, um, yeah, it's like a, a dark brown ox bloody material, but I love her. Yes, I'm loving this. So, this is how you close her. All right, and there she is. I hope y'all have enjoyed this quick unboxing. It's been your girl, Mrs. Q, signing off for now. Until then, see you next time. Love you. Bye-bye.